The military. They are the primary force that a country uses to both defend itself and attack threats that may be coming for them, or be used to take over the world, just saying. Regardless of its intent, the militaries of the world are determined to keep growing and make themselves as powerful and sufficient as possible. And that means try to go beyond the bounds of current technology in order to make some truly futuristic weapons. Obviously, these are things they want to keep secret, but we do know some that have developed or are going to be improved upon. So allow us to show you the 7 most secret futuristic military weapons. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Laser Weapons Fire the laser! Yes, when it comes to tropes about futuristic weapons, lasers have always seemed to be at the forefront, and most of them have a similar feel. They're a portable laser kind of weapon that does various amounts of damage, or they're a big monstrous laser that can destroy whole buildings, vessels, and so on. Here's the thing. We do have lasers of all kinds here on Earth right now, including ones that are used to cut metal with extreme precision. The downside is that these lasers, the ones that can hurt anyway, take a lot of power to fuel its focused beams. And while there are laser weapons out there in the world right now, like in the US Navy, they're massive and not exactly the most portable things around. So where's the secret of such weapons? Simple. Since they have made a proof of concept, if you will, in regards to these weapons being proven to work, that means that they are just blueprints by which they can try to grow, enhance, and of course, make more portable said laser weapons. It might take a while, but you can bet that every major military that has an R&D department are working on laser weapons of some kind, because the ones that are able to make it work reliably and do lots of damage will have a major edge in the next major conflict. Number 6. EMP Bombs EMP stands for Electromagnetic Pulse. It was a byproduct found in the original atomic bomb test. The bombs discharge at an incredible amount of electric energy that shorted out things in a certain area, and they've since refined that technology to be small, portable, and able to wipe out whole cities. If you recall the movie Ocean's Eleven, they used a version of an EMP to go and black out Vegas for their heist. That was not an exaggeration of what a true EMP can do. The reason we're calling this a true future weapon is imagine if they're able to amplify it to such a degree that they're able to knock out the electricity in not just a city, but a whole country. That might seem terrifying to think about, but it is a real possibility, and doing such an act would cause untold devastation to all within said country. Because unlike Ocean's Eleven, the EMP would not be a short shutdown, it would be permanent. And if that is the case, a country's entire economic and technological infrastructure would be wiped out the moment that bomb goes off. Due to this, EMPs are illegal to build outside of the military, and the government of the US has been working to counteract an EMP attack, which means that other countries are doing as well because no one wants to be the one hit by such a weapon. And of course, you can bet that certain countries are working on new ways to make the EMPs so they can't be counteracted. Number 5. Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition – Mayhem The RPG is a classic tactic to go and punch through armored vehicles. However, now there is the Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition, or Mayhem, which is going to do a lot more damage. Typical RPGs use an explosive charge to fire the rocket head, but here a magnetic flux generator actually launches the rocket forward towards its target. The magnetic version is actually more accurate as well as more efficient. Not to mention that because it doesn't need an explosive charge to launch it, it's actually a bit safer than previous models. The rocket heads themselves have molten metal within them, allowing them to better penetrate the armored vehicles that they're targeting. Now how active this is in the military is unknown, hence the secret part. But if they are as effective as hoped, this could lead to a new wave of weapons that could help take down any vehicle. Plus, since this has been proven to work to some degree, it goes to reason that other weapons of this kind are also being developed in secret, right? Number 4. Drone Armies A not-so-secret weapon in some ways is the Predator Drones. Many militaries are using drones, both big and small, to deal damage to enemies, as well as spy on them from afar. But those are just the first generation of drone warfare, if you will. They are growing, and some of them are being tested right now in frighteningly efficient manners. 
There are drones that are a fraction of the size of Predators and are able to carry a handgun and fire it, a machine gun and fire it accurately, and even drop smaller bombs on more focused targets. Which is already quite horrifying, wouldn't you say? But there is no doubt that militaries are testing in secret how far they can push things and see where exactly this can go. What new kinds of drones can they make to do the jobs of soldiers in order to limit the risk and yet still get the job done? It's a terrifying thought, and this might just be the true future of warfare where the question is, who has the best drone? Number 3. Heart Attack Gun When it comes to the CIA and their arsenal, we honestly don't know much about it because they intentionally try and keep it secret. That's why many don't trust them. This was shown in full during the Cold War where they were willing to do and make just about anything to ensure America would survive. But during the Watergate scandal, a committee was instituted to try and figure out just how much power the CIA honestly had and how to rein them in, which led to the discovery of the heart attack gun. Yes, this was a real thing. It was an altered pistol that wouldn't need bullets, but rather would fire darts that were lined with shellfish toxin. The darts were so small they wouldn't even leave a pinprick on the body, yet the toxin would be so deadly that it could cause a heart attack and make it seem like there was no foul play involved. The reason we're bringing this up now is that variations of this type of weapon are reportedly being made in secret by various agencies and militaries. There are sound waves and pressure waves that can go and induce certain things in the body, and that means a true heart attack gun could be possible. What's more, there are variations of this weapon that technically are in development now, like a literal heat gun that can make soldiers faint after getting overheated. Sound guns that allow vehicles to emit frequencies that can incapacitate foes, and more. And of course, with agencies like the CIA trying to get the upper hand with technology in their own way, who knows what else they're developing? Number 2. Autonomous Robot Vehicles AI, aka artificial intelligence, is something many nations are not just trying to make, but implement into their armies. But for the true future weapons application, imagine an AI commanding a squad of vehicles on its own and not just firing weapons, but adapting to the battlefield situation in order to move out the fleet and secure victory. At present, robot vehicles are out in the field, but most have simple functions or have remote controls. That will change though, and some are already adapting in major ways that could cause a lot of problems for people. Armies across the world are racing to not just get AI-controlled vehicles online, but using them for other applications. So the first army to have truly autonomous vehicles is going to have a huge leg up. Number 1. Project Thor In the movie G.I. Joe Retaliation, Cobra Commander instituted a plan to put satellites into space that would drop massive rods of metal from the sky to the ground with such devastation that it would destroy a city. And it did just that. Here's the thing though. This was a real project that was considered by the United States, and it would be called Project Thor. While it's been stated to have never been made, many presidents considered it for an obvious reason, lack of fallout. The solid tungsten rods in Project Thor would be dropped and the kinetic energy would build up and just plow into the earth with such force it would be like a nuclear bomb, but with no damage outside the kinetic. The reason this is now a secret weapon is that you can bet the countries are trying to make something like Project Thor to have as an ultimate weapon. And with growing tensions between certain nations, the need for such a weapon might be fueling a lot of secret projects. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the weapons that the militaries of the world are developing in secret to try and up the scale of warfare and make sure that they are not left in the dust when the next conflict comes? Do you feel that some of these future weapons are closer to completion than most think? Which ones are you personally the most afraid of? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.